How's it YouTube? This is Jemmy and I'd like to say a very big thank you to Volvo Car Silver Spring for making this trip to Sweden possible that will be featured on this episode on Gothenburg and the next one on Northern Sweden. Welcome to Gothenburg, Sweden. This is Sweden's second largest city and it is a southern city by the coast and generally a lot warmer. Uh, originally founded in 1621 by charter and it's now home to 600,000 people. It is a major port city and also an industrial hub and the home to Volvo cars because it was founded here in 1927. It's also a base to big companies like SKF and Ericsson and AstraZeneca. Uh, but the good news is that it is close to nature with canals and lakes and forests close by. The main town area and central station is very charming with cobblestones and uh, there are wonderful canals nearby. It's not the easiest city to drive around but very very walkable with good taxis and there is also a tram system uh, for which you can purchase passes for. The reason that I was in Gothenburg is that my family and me were very kindly invited to take a dealership trip to Gothenburg uh, experiencing the overseas delivery program in which we would be taking delivery of a car that I ordered in the US but would be joining our inventory. Ordinarily, uh, I would be a customer taking delivery of my own car and I would be able to drive this car around Europe and eventually have it shipped home. Uh, it was great to be getting the keys of this car because I actually ordered it. Uh, the car is presented in a very dramatic fashion under great lighting and uh, it's uh, uh, hidden away from view and the customer gets to unwrap their car, so to speak. Uh, in our case, the car that was ordered was a 2023 XC90 Recharge. It's a plus model and it has the bright exterior giving it that luxury line look uh, with the extra chrome. Uh, and denim blue exterior and the interior is charcoal and it is a six seater variety. Uh, so really great to actually see this car because I got to order it. And so I, I did feel a sense of ownership and uh, yeah, I did feel very, very good to be getting this car. Uh, my favorite part about it was just the way it smelled. I've smelled new cars in the US before, but you could tell that this just came off the factory. Um, I've never seen a car that looked this new before. A big thank you to Anton uh, and the factory delivery team. Uh, Anton, thank you for agreeing to appear in this video. Uh, Anton expertly showed me around this car. Uh, if I was a paying customer, I would be taking delivery of my own car. So he would help get me paired up uh, so that I could use this car while I was in Europe. Um, the factory delivery center is followed by a visit to the Volvo factories. So for obvious reasons, there are no photos allowed, but it is a very impressive facility opened in 1964. And it is huge, 450,000 square meters, producing 300,000 cars per year. It's got 1,400 robots and 6,500 employees with a very high number of 33% women and uh, very diverse. Uh, the tour is actually on a train that goes through all the different stages in the assembly line, starting at the press shop area in which boron steel is shown, uh, which makes the structure strong. Uh, it goes down the assembly line. It takes about 38 hours to build a car, and they are shipped to 2,300 dealers in 100 countries. The plant is carbon neutral. And after an amazing three-hour factory tour, we continued on to the Volvo Museum where we saw some classic cars, such as this Volvo 1800, which was driven by Sir Roger Moore in a TV show called The Saint uh, in 1967. I am absolutely in love with the looks of this car. And has to be one of the most beautiful cars I have ever seen. This sharp looking 1960s sports car made in Europe design is such a huge change from Volvos of the past. 
such as the next car, which is the PV56 from 1938. It was the first peacetime car made after World War II, and it was aimed at very high luxury, and it's a limo type of car. Uh, check out that older version of the Volvo Iron Mark, which is just exquisite. And my favorite part is these wheels, uh, which have these red detailed Volvo uh, writing on the hubcaps on chrome. Uh, they're just beautiful lines. The car is exquisite uh, in, in its appearance and everywhere. Another great looking car is the Volvo Sport. Uh, it was a genuine California cruiser. The CEO of Volvo went and visited America and was very inspired by the design. Another example from 1965 is the PV544 Sport. It has beautiful lines on the rear, almost like an aircraft. And then in 1972, we got the Volvo Experimental Safety Car. This was a rolling safety laboratory that featured new technologies such as airbags and believe it or not backup cameras. The bumpers on these cars were very thick and were designed to reduce uh, impacts and collisions up to 80 kilometers an hour. This increased Volvo's reputation for safety when it was featured at the Geneva Auto Show. Volvos over the years are presented, such as that Volvo in the middle there is a 262 and it's from 1977 to 81 and it was made very much for the US market. Finally, the Volvo 200 series was a very successful model running from 74 to 93 with over 2.8 million sold. Cars like this gave the European market great styling, handling, and the highest levels of safety. The Volvo 850 from 91 to 97 was extremely popular as an estate, especially in the US market. And the Volvo C70 was a convertible variant that had a long run between 1996 and 2013 and was available in multiple different variants and a popular convertible. And right behind the S, the C70 was a very interesting car. This was an S90 and it's from 1996 to 1998. What was very interesting is to see the interior of this car and just notice how plush and luxurious it was and uh, how this was a really great luxury car. Volvo as a company is an industrial giant and this museum also features this by showing Volvo racing as well as uh, Saab jets as well as trucks. Gothenburg at night was wonderful, lots of chic restaurants, it's very walkable and very safe. Good night everybody, thank you for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button.